to Adventures. Another day in Ghana. So I'm heading out of my building now to go meet with my driver. Hello, thank you, thank you. And I have to say, man, this place is so beautiful, so beautiful. So I showed you a little bit in a previous video, I believe. These buildings, this area here, this particular location, this construction, it's called the Signature. And as you're driving around Accra, as you come closer and closer, you can see this building from different angles, man. This is a, such a beautiful place. So there's a lot of construction going on. And I've hired a guy to drive me around because I don't want to have to, you know, pick different taxis every time. I really trust this guy, Imos. He's really nice. And I'm actually thinking he wants to do YouTube. So I'm, I've been talking to him about what he needs to do. And I'm going to open up his channel, you know. So before I leave the country, I'm going to make sure that this guy is also on the you know on youtube so he can document some of his own personal experiences so you know they have the recycling the trash different things over here they have security on that side over there and then they have security on this side hello hello and then the parking so if you're driving your car you can park over there it's underneath the building and they have some shops and everything all right so that's basically what you have going on here and imas has been on time this man has been on time you tell him 10 o'clock He's there at 10. So that's Imos family. How you doing, Imos? I'm doing good. All right, all right. Thanks, man. Thanks for being on time again. So Imos, how long have you been? Uh, have you how long have you been a driver here in uh, in Accra? Uh, for over six months now. I started last year November. November. How do you like it? Oh, it's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, very interesting. Are most people nice to you? Yeah, mostly, mostly. Just some, maybe sometimes it's, it's normal in life. Yeah. There are times some people will, I mean, upset you and try to bully you around. But generally, I would say that it's very interesting. Very interesting, right? Very interesting. All right. Cool. 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 So, um, let me ask you this: Where's your? You have you have a wife, right? Just one or two? Yeah, I have. How many wives? One. One. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's been my biggest discovery here, man. Like people assume like polygamy is really a thing, but man, no, 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 it's no. basically dead, man. There's no more polygamy in Africa, right? No, no. no, no. That is interesting. All right. So guys, you see, you see, there's a lot of construction going on here. All of these buildings, you know, they still finish them up. Some are completely done, and some of them are priced just like in the U.S. I mean, you're talking about. Like three hundred dollars a night for one of the buildings that I saw, and uh, you have security in every single one of them. You cannot just enter, you know. In the U.S., apartment buildings, unless you have like a secure key, many of them are, like three levels or whatever. You just walk in. Here, one thing I really like, and if you're curious or you know considering coming here and you're nervous about your safety, you know I feel very safe here. You know the security is top notch, man. They're everywhere. You know what I mean? These guys are everywhere, and then you have stores. You can buy soap. You can buy different items. Just about all over the neighborhood, you know? So that's what it is. The bump, the, the roads here, they're still working on them because of all the construction going on. They're working on this area, but I can say East Lagoon is definitely one of the nicest when it comes to um, middle, middle class, middle class families. This is basically what you have here. You can go up from here and I'm, I'm gonna try to show you guys that. And you can go down, of course, of course. But they already showed it down. So let's focus on the positive. Let's focus on the positive. So, man, what else do you want to talk about with your country, man? Tell us something that people don't know about. Uh, soccer, football, yeah, we call it football. Yeah, they already know that. They already know. Okay, yeah, because yeah, America is the only country that calls football soccer. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most people call it football, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we are mostly into football, and almost every child. Okay, what about the religion? What's uh, most the people's religion? Religion, then? we have about... The, the, the most popular ones are two. two. The most popular one is Christianity. Christianity, all right. About 80% of Ghanaians are Christians. Okay. And the remaining 20, I would say, are Muslims. Muslims, all right. Islamic, yeah. Sounds so good. Predominantly Ghana, it's a Christian country, I would say. It's a Christian country, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. sounds and good. what they do is, uh, every Sunday, we go to church. Maybe you live at home, depending on the... Some churches organize about three service or mass yeah. within the day 
Yeah. So you can maybe go in the first for the first one, the second one, or the third one. Yeah. And others just organize one service. It depends on the the number of uh, the uh, congregants the church has. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's interesting. So guys, we're gonna turn on the AC and uh, come back to you guys when uh, my friends are in the car. We have a couple of places we're trying to see today. So I'm gonna try to uh, to do as much as I can. One thing here, I have to say time goes really, really fast. And if you're curious what the time difference is, if you live in the East Coast of the US, the time difference is about four hours. I'm just four hours ahead. All right, so that's what you're looking at uh, for the time difference here. Look at the Hummer. Look at the Hummer, man. Hey, some people got some money out here. Don't be fooled. And this is cash money. They ain't renting, they ain't paying no monthly bills. They own the thing. They paid it off right away. The Range Rover, you got a Chevy over here, a Toyota. Look at that Mazda over there. Huh? Look at that, look at another Chevy, another Honda. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's Africa for you, baby. They got it here, man. They got that green paper, that green paper. Just withdrew some money, because I hear you mostly want to pay in cash. Only some high venues will let you pay with a card, you know what I mean? So, thank you, bro. Do you. you remember this guy from my other videos, man? I'll give his contact. Give him some support, man. This is a very nice gentleman right here, man. Thank it was you. really nice to meet you, bro. Appreciate you. All right. Oh, God bless you. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, so that's what's going on. Just got some cash, so I'm feeling good right now. Oh man, this guy, he was telling me he makes about $2 a day. How much do they pay you per hour? Not you necessarily, like the average. Uh, maybe 20 Ghana cities. 20 Ghanaian cities a day? A, a day. A day? A day. Okay, so I'm going to open my conversion app. Guys, that's roughly $1.83. So we're looking at about a little bit like $2. Man, so this is the bank area here. You're all safe, you know, you got taxis and stuff. I'm explaining all of this because I know somebody's watching this and thinking, man, I want to go to Africa, but I'm scared. There's nothing to be scared about. This is just like you'll be anywhere, you know. It could be the US, it could be anywhere in Europe, you know. Just the bank is right there, you got security. Everything is good to go. And they actually have like three different banks located. And you look at the cars, man. You know what I mean? Look at this, you got Mercedes right here. You know, look at the cars, you know. Normal, normal area. Somebody's going to come and tell me to stop filming. That's the one thing. <laughs> Sometimes when you film, you got to be quick in and out because somebody comes and say, hey man, you can't film out here. You can't film out here. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go pick up our friends. So guys, it's very tough out here, man. A lot of people need help. Do you have some cities or uh, some change? Because I just have big bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's, let's give them something, man. You know what I mean? You have this lady. She's selling, um, you know, I don't know what she's selling. Candy. Let me put this music down. Yeah. Oh, it's a shoe polish. She's selling shoe polish with her kids. So we're going to go ahead and give them something, you know? Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. All right. No mask. No more. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Don't. Don't do this, man. Yeah, you can't You can't fix everything, you know? These kids, man, it's just, you know? You can't, you can't help everybody. You know, that's the thing. So you can see basically what it looks like as we're heading out. Let's go to the area. I forgot the name, but I'm gonna ask Beatrice when we get there. And Beatrice, by the way, has an amazing YouTube channel, and I will have her, you know, kind of share what's going on with that situation. Uh, she's a very nice person, and she has really made my trip here a lot easier. If I didn't meet her, it would have been a lot more difficult for me. Because <laughs> I'm a solo traveler, but when you meet a local, man, it changes everything. It changes everything. And I have to say thank you to my man Imans right here as well for helping me out. Last night, I dreamed of an end to poverty. All nations were growing, all nations stood strong. So some of the challenges in the neighborhoods, in some neighborhoods in Accra, and in many places in Africa, is the type of roads that we deal with. So you can see, what, you know, the car is basically bouncing up and down 
And Ima's like, how do you feel about your car, man, when you get on this, <laughs> in this kind of area, oh, in this kind of area? It's noisy. You begin to be scared, man buy your car because the under will sometimes hit on a stone or any rock on the road yeah and when it happens like that because you are sitting in the guys and it's the under you might not know what is really happening right so you feel really nervy yeah and you have to go to the mechanic almost every time yeah because of the bad road just to have your ball joint and other things fixed yes mm, yes yeah. it's, it's really terrible so as much as there's construction going on and Accra is a beautiful city and definitely one of the most developed cities in Africa, I have to say, you still need, you know, a little bit more work in some of the areas where the middle class lives, right? So everybody basically opens up a business in order to make ends meet. So this is basically what the scene is. It's very, very common, you know, and, and, and this could be Cameroon, this could be Nigeria, this could be, I'm sure, Kenya. You know, uh, it's all the same. You know, this this area is everybody selling something, and uh, I'm really curious how much they make. You know, I should really talk to one of these ladies, and I will do that before we get out of the area. Try to find out how much she makes a day, because they sit there, and like, many times I don't see any customers. You know, so I'm really curious. You know, I won't buy anything, but I will give her money for talking to me. So we, we're gonna see if someone is interested in talking when we get our friends, because I'm curious how much money they make. You know, so then you have the paved road on this side, and actually one of the things I was talking about with Emus is that. The good thing about a bad road, right, is that when people drink, they cannot drive fast. <laughs> that is true. Because uh, you can't get to your destination, man. You have to go to the bumps, right? You have to go to the bumps. You have to go slow. So that's basically what's going on, all right? And this is a school right here. This is a school. And it's a really nice building, you know? It has the same Greek, Roman type architecture that you will find in Washington DC or even in Greece. Look at that. This is gorgeous, you know? This is gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful school here that you have. And then the speed bumps, and you can see, okay, it's called the Academic University College. Okay, so this is a university. It's a university right here, all right? And then you have the paved road. So it's not bad everywhere. And I, I don't want people to see this and think, oh, you know, Africa is this and that. No, there's good roads and there's bad roads. So I want to show you both. This is not an attempt to embellish or demolish. This is to show you the truth, the reality, so you know what you're dealing with and what people deal with when they live in these countries here. You know, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just reporting what I see. Guys, I met these three gentlemen here and they seem interesting. So I want to talk to them. Hey, what's your name? I'm Alex Boache. Man, everybody has a long name. What's the short version of your name? <laughs> like you said? The short Alex. version of your name. Alex. Alex. Yeah. Alex. Okay. Yeah. And you are? Sami. Sami? Yeah. And you are? Samobudu. 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 Yeah. And how old are you? Um, 21. 21? 20. 20? 20? 36. 36. Now this guy right here, he's going to have a hard time convincing me that he's 21 man are you sure you're 21 years yeah, old yeah, man yes, course, hey man look that's at this guy right here man i don't believe this one it's, second it's, 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 it's you come in time you cut your age bro <laughs> guys tell me you, you think this man is 21. <laughs> hey no, brother face. come on man no forget about the face forget about the face yeah. the face is what indicates your life your experience uh, everything no, I'm, what you mean? I'm telling the truth 21. you have an id on you no, i'm no, a bit no, like no, a puller. No, you no. don't carry id out right no, here no. 21. Yes, and how old are you? 20 years. 20. And you are? 36. 36. Yeah. So guys, this man, 36, look at this man, looking all fresh. And this guy's gonna tell me he's 21. Come on, man. That's bro. Come on, That's bro. bro. That's bro. Come on, bro. I'm with you, sir. Are you married? No. I'm sorry. You married? You no. no wives? Yeah. Why not? Financial problems. Right. Financial problems? Yeah. Or are you responsible? So no kids? No, no kids. No kids. How about you? Yeah, I have two kids. Two kids? Yeah, 20 and two kids. 20? Yeah. So, I guess you have kids, no financial problems then? I have financial problems, but I still have kids. So what's wrong with this 21-year-old man right here telling me he can't have no kids, <laughs> you know, because he got financial problems? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing real. All right. Uh, there's no job in, in, in the country, so... There's no job in the country? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What is your experience? What, what skill do you have? I'm an electrician. You're an electrician? Yeah. You cannot find a job? Yeah. Qualified electrician. Okay. Yeah. So how long have you been unemployed? Um, like about five years now. Five years? Yeah. Okay, okay. 
How about you? What do you do? Uh, yeah, an yeah. electrician. Yeah. And how about you? What do you do? What's your, what's your experience? This is my boss. <laughs> You're 21 year old boss. Yeah. <laughs> you see, man, I can't get no straight answer out of this guy. He ain't trying to tell me nothing. He ain't trying to tell me nothing. He told me financial problems. Now I find out he's the boss, man. Man, how about you? What do you do? I'm a teacher. You're a teacher? What, what do you teach? I'm a PE teacher at where I'm Okay. You're supposed to what? I'm supposed to be at the government side, but I've not been called yet. So yeah. I'm not teaching at a private school. Okay, all right. So what do you want people to know about life here in general? How is it to be Ghanaian? You know, tell us more like about... To be Ghanaian is good. It's good to be Ghanaian. Yes. Life is so hard. It's hard, yeah. What makes it so hard? The, the system is too hard. Yeah. Like no job, job, no yeah. job. To, to find, find a job? To find, like, it means small, yeah. small things be too hard to, to buy. Yeah. Like food, and small, small things. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. If you have job, you can afford all yeah, these things. Yeah. yeah. But no, like, if no you, factories, like, for the youth for. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. If, if you have job, yeah. the, the pay, the salary is too It's really low. low. Okay. So that that makes life, 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 life too what hard to, to, to be taken from the government sector. When, where I am right now, yes. it's even not even half of it. Yes. But because if I still stop and be in the house, how am I going to just get up for my children who's attending university? Sorry, secondary school and school. Yes. So I have to be there and be working so that I can just take care of them. Yeah. So we are all praying that things will be better in Ghana here. Yeah. But for the situation, like, we have few, for our security purpose, we have peace for the peace we have. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is a very peaceful country yeah. here. So we have, for me, they say, I say I'm happy that I'm a Ghanaian. Yeah. Because, yes. Yeah. I'm not yeah, travel, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not travel to any place. Yes. But whilst I'm here, to follow us every day, God caters, we serve and provide. We still love our country. Yeah. No matter what we are in, yes. we are praying for the better. Yeah, and things are getting better. I see there's a lot of construction going on, so the country is improving. The well, country is improving. Hopefully, it just continues and get better and better and better. Yeah. And we you were so, saying? We hope so. We hope so. We hope so. You, you hope so? Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. How about, um, talk to me about women, man. Man, you know, in Ghana, in Ghana, how a Ghanaian woman, man. <laughs> well, well, you know, somebody wants to come out here and get like, you know, a Ghanaian girlfriend, man. What is what is going on? They are lovely. They are lovely. Yeah. Yeah, they are lovely. Yeah. They are good. 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 They are beautiful. They are beautiful women. Yeah. Plenty, plenty, plenty. They are good. Cool. How many girlfriends do you have? Only one. Only one. Yeah. So you're faithful. You're faithful Ghanaian. Yeah, Only one. Only one. Yeah. I have two children, so. You're a good guy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So, if you get a chance to travel, where would you want to go? Mm, for me, America, UK, America, South Africa. For, okay. for Africa, yeah, we have South Africa. Yeah. Yeah. If I get opportunity to travel, yeah. Africa is good. America, UK, for me, and Canada. And Canada. Yeah. What do you think of America in general? America. I know you haven't been there, but like, what is your impression about the country based on I what love, you see? I love the city. Yeah? The country, yeah. What do you love so about it? So beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Okay. I want to go there. Yeah. Everything that's a bit fine. You're all nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. I, I, I want to go to America because of the, the military. The military? I love military too much. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you want to fight? In Ghana, yeah. I've uh, played so many times. So they don't want you? No, no, no. Maybe because you're too young, man. It's you told me you're 21. Want to it's not like... <laughs> I said long time. Man. Yeah. I said long time. Yeah. I started applying for it, uh, but yeah. I didn't get it. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. I take my school there. Yeah. The electricals. Yeah. Uh, so, how long have you guys been living in this neighborhood? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, about 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. And many times when people think of Africa, they are concerned about their safety. So, would you say that this, first of all, what is the name of this neighborhood? This is the Mahood. Yeah. Mangole. Ashoma Mangole. Mangole. Mango. Mangole. Mango. Mango. Yeah. Mango. Yeah. 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 Right. Fruit. Fruits. Mango. 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 Like a fruit, right? Yeah. Mangole. Yeah. Mangole. Yeah. Okay. All right. So is it, would you say it's a safe neighborhood? Oh, it's safe. Very, very safe. You can walk around the problem. Anytime, any day. Anytime, any day. Yeah. At the night, day, oh, evening. Well, yeah. Anytime you want. Yeah. We have some time, but yeah. still we have We have for you. Oh, yeah. For you, but for us. Yeah. Yeah, plenty, plenty. So here they seem too safe to see. Yeah. Like I see I police, small police. Yeah. Oh man. Mango Lane. Okay. So that's the name of the station right there. Mango Lane Police Station. Right there. So they patrol? 
Because in Cameroon, sometimes if you have a problem, you call the police, they'll be like, man, you need to give me some money, bro. I ain't got no gas money, man. Even patrol, they have cars, they are the patrol. Even right now here, there's another police station here. Yeah. There's another police station here. Yeah. When we go to Mana, I like there's one there. Yeah. So they are always patrol. For Ghana, yeah. For Ghana. For Ghana. Security reason. That one there. It's good. Yeah, it's All good. Right. We are sure they are buy. It's our little little mistakes. Yeah. Buy. Okay. The potential is too high. Yeah. So we are 70 30. So we are good to it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. Well, I get a girl, but I'm not married. I have children, but I'm not married. <laughs> you have a girlfriend, but not married? I'm, I'm not having a girlfriend. I have a children, but I'm not married. You're not married? Yeah. And you want to go to Cameroon? Yeah. You should go. It's a good country. I, I, I feel like. Crossing my country to different Africa, like yeah. Africa before, if I go to the U. Yeah. But my friend has been at the Nigeria before. Yeah. From there, he told me a lot of things. So I want, like, I want to just either any nearby country in Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it's good to see. Africa is such a big continent, man. It has a lot. It has a lot. It's different, but it's all the same. Like I feel like I'm home right now because we have neighborhoods that look exactly the same. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. You didn't get your name. My name is Ivan. Ivan. My name is Ivan. Ivan. And uh, okay, okay. Tell about Cameroon. something about Cameroon. Yeah. Well, the, um, I, I can tell you we have about 300 tribes, yeah, close nice. to 300 tribes in Cameroon. Oh, yeah. Every cool. single one of those tribes has its own language. His oh. own type of food, his own culture, his own different culture. type of clothing. Culture. The culture is completely different. Right. So the fact that Af Cameroon is so diverse, despite some of the political issues we can have, the country stays at peace as well right. because we just we're so different. Right. We're so different, you know what I mean? So, so that's 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 what Cameroon is all about. So can 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 you pay us visit? Oh yeah, I'm gonna get your information. Are you guys on Instagram or Facebook or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just WhatsApp? Yeah, just WhatsApp. WhatsApp. You have your phones? Yeah. yeah. But okay. me, I don't have phone now, right now. I'm gonna give him my information right. and you as well. Yeah. And we stay in touch, man. Yeah. And then uh, I'll be back. I love this country. Right. I love it. I love it. So it's I wanna show it. it's my first time in Ghana. So I wanna show everything, you know what I mean? Like the good thing, the bad thing. I want people to know the truth, oh, okay. what it's all about. So they, when they come and visit, you know, they know what to expect. So thank you guys for talking to me. So we have again Samuel. Samuel. Samuel too. Two Samuels. Yeah. Okay. And Alex. 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 The most important thing on the video, guys. Tell me how you think this gentleman is right here. I'm not buying that 21 thing, man. So I'm gonna end this on here. 21. 21. Ah, this brother's trying to get me. <laughs> all right, all right. So I have blue here. And Elsa. Elsa, what is your channel, Elsa? Uh, my channel is Elsa Ariweri, and I'm new, guys. So please go show me some love. All right, all right, all right. So I will show. I will put her channel also on the description. And you've seen blue on my previous videos already. So I'm gonna also put her information below. So guys, we're gonna go inside and uh, we're waiting for somebody. We don't know if he's actually gonna show. We don't know, but we're gonna see. So let's go upstairs. So you can see this is the first floor as you come inside or this beautiful sitting area and now we're gonna go upstairs so they have all these beautiful decorations here different type of bottles let's go this is the upstairs area so i'm trying to see where my friend is Everything is awesome. Oh man, I was waiting for him to come, but he beat me to it. <laughs> waiting for me to come? Yeah, I thought you were going to be late. <laughs> that's why I told you 3 o'clock. Oh man, that's funny. Yeah. <sighs> so guys, I'm not going to introduce him. If you don't know who he is, then there's no introduction. No introduction needed for this one right here. How was the workout, man? What, what part of your body did you work on today? <laughs> Cardio. Cardio? Yeah. All right, all right. So here we are. I wish I could stand. How are you doing? Oh man, you're in pain. Huh? So guys, we are here at the Polo Club. So I'm going to show you the menu. Very simple for you. You don't drink alcohol, right? So the drink menu is nothing for you. And, and what am I right now? I don't drink alcohol. 
Okay, when I was young, my dad assembled all my siblings and he gave us some shots of alcohol and it wasn't tasting good. So ever since, I grew up not liking alcohol. I can't use my money to buy alcohol. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> and you, is because of the workout right now that you decided to just cut it off or you didn't no, drink no, no, before? No, 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 I've never tasted alcohol before. You don't drink? No. Wow. Is that a personal decision, a religious? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a crazy dude, yeah. naturally. So you don't need like, alcohol yeah, to add more? You're lucky that I don't eat when you met me. You'd have, you'd have made another side of my, you know. Wow. Yeah, so if I add alcohol to it, it's too much. It's going to be too much. So, so you have natural to energy. Stay away. So sometimes when people see me doing anything, they think, oh, he's drunk. No, 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 no. This is the real world of mine. This is real world of mine. Yeah, I was surprised when I first met him on day one, the way you were talking, yeah. with that energy, I thought you already had a couple of drinks. Nah. So this is just you on the natural. Nah, nah, nah. Man, that's, that's me, cool. Man. That's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So sad that I'm on the table and I can't order anything, man. This is... You this cannot is... eat anything? No, man. Because Even the salad? You can have a salad, bro. No, I've done my first salad already. So I did a salad in the morning today. Oh. So it's like one meal a day. One meal? So you're done for the day? I'm done. That's why he's so dropping away like this. Yesterday, I was actually supposed to have that meal that I had yesterday today. You understand? But whatever was happening, I was, I was born, man. So I had to just have some tilapia yesterday to fill up the energy. But you, salad doesn't add anything to your weight. So you can have salad all day, really. No, it does. It does? It does. So I'm, maybe I'm, maybe it's not the salad itself. Yeah. What comes with it, right? No, it's just the salad. Raw salad. Yeah, no, what yeah. I'm saying is tuna bread. It only becomes a little bit you know, too much for you when it comes with added stuff from it. Right? Yeah, but, but if it's just a salad based yeah. on your prescription on No worries, no worries, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. I feel so bad, man. I didn't feel so bad for myself, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday, yesterday I was like, nah. I have to eat, man. No matter what happens. Yeah. And I, I struggled that night. I actually couldn't sleep. Because the food that I ate had, uh, it was spicy. And then they just, because my stomach has never had like spices in a long time. Yeah, so yeah. I struggled yesterday. So you, you're still, you're still at that stage where you're feeling hungry, right? Like really hungry. I don't. You don't feel hungry anymore. No, no, no. So I'm more like. The things that I take in, yeah. like I have juice in my car, as soon as I'm done, I'll just pick the juice and I'm okay. Yeah. It's just that I see the food and I'm like, God damn it. Please give me the food. I, yeah. I, I crave the food that I want to eat, but it's just that I, I'm not hungry. Yeah. I don't know how to explain to you. You get it? Yeah. You, should, you should go on the same journey with me, man. Yeah, you know? I want to. I want Bro, to. Bro, I was, I was like, I was so done. You know? Yeah. I woke up and I'm like, God damn it, man. I feel so bloated, bro. I feel bloated. I need to do something about it. He made fun. He made fun of my pot belly. He's an yeah. Ivan, man. What's up with you? Yeah. So I got I to gotta do something, man. He called me out already twice, man. Yeah, so. no, he, 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 <laughs> definitely. You know, I, I actually want to go on a journey to inspire Africans in general to take up their health, man. Yeah. That's the journey. And I, I see, let me tell you something. Like when I go out, even today I was in the elevator, as soon as I stepped down, there's a guy who called me and said, you know what? I just started working out because of your blood. And he said, is the six wow. out already? I'm like, no, wow. today. Oh, really? Today. That's amazing. Today, in the elevator, when I was coming down, yeah, yeah, yeah. I met a guy in there and he said, if my is on it, I can do it too. Yeah. So I, I feel like I can use my life to inspire people of course. to go on that journey, man. Because, I mean, health is wealth, right? We need to grow old, so we yeah. need to take care of ourselves. Imagine you have all the money and you can't eat. You can't eat, there's no point, right? Because yeah. I've, I've, to hide. I've, I've met so many um, entrepreneurs that they tell me that, oh, you know what, I need to take care of myself. Early morning, see them. Yeah, they're, scared, yeah, yeah. they're scared to die. You yeah. know? They want to they wanna be there and enjoy their money. Right. So that's basically what I want to do. It's mm. hard, but let's see where it takes us to. How long are you planning to be punishing your body like this for? No, for now, I think. <laughs> not punishing. I think. <laughs> I mean, I can look at you. You can't move, bro. You, 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 bro, you can't even stand. So you're punishing right? yourself. I know, right? I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not punishing myself. I'm actually taking care of myself. Yeah. You know, and this, what I'm doing is temporary. 
You get it? I'm now discovering the food that I can eat and the food that I cannot take in, in my body and what I need to do to stay like this for a long time. So I'm more like in the process of learning about my body now. Okay. So it's not punishment. Yeah. Just trying to let the body know that this man is a change man. Alright, alright, alright. All right. Do you cook or do you have a chef? I cook myself. Okay. But I, I'm, I'm just um, gonna have a chef soon. Man. It's easier. You're busy. Yep, yep. But I... I I love to cook myself, you know, I love to eat my own food, you know, food that I know that I cooked it. I don't want to be too bossy, I don't know, I don't understand, because, like, anytime I sit in my car, I want to sit in front, I want to, it's either I'm driving, if I'm not driving, I'll sit next to a driver. Yeah, yeah. But then they want you to sit at the back, and yeah. like, no, <laughs> because, you know, it, it, in Africa, if you own the car, you gotta. You sit in the back. You have your driver. Exactly. That's no, right. I'm not interested. Yeah. I just, I just don't wanna be like that. I yeah. Just, I just wanna live my life. You know. Yeah. Live your life and live the rest of the rest. That's exactly right. That's it, man. Yeah. I mean, so, what's your main dish when you cook? So you know what I can cook? I can only cook rice. You know. Rice. <laughs> <laughs> That's an I excellent get, cook. I can oh, only, only cook rice and stew, you know, some chicken stew. stew. If I had time, I would have made you some nice dish and I know that you will always crave for that, man. I, I, it's like, when, when I travel, I always stay in Airbnb because I want to cook myself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes you yeah. travel, you're not used to the food they eat, yeah. so you have to cook your own no, food. Stuff. So that's why we don't stay in hotel. If you see us staying in a hotel, it's a sponsored video. Yeah. I, I always want to stay in an Airbnb yeah. so that I can cook my own food. Okay. Yeah, but I can't cook so many varieties now. Just what I know it tastes good. Mm -hmm. That's what I can do. Makes best. sense. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. How about you behind the camera? What is your what is what is your eating? What is your eating habit? You know? Oh what is your eating habit? We got two beautiful African ladies here. I wanna hear about your food habits. Okay. Uh, Sometimes I'm a foodie and sometimes I, I, I fast. And you cook your own too, right? Yes. Yeah. What's your main go-to? Like spaghetti, rice, fufu? Okay, I, not spaghetti, not fufu. <laughs> too much work there. So if you want like gold cheese salad, 184. So that, that's a little bit less than $20, you know? And the starters, all of them are less than 20 bucks. So that's not bad. You got the spaghetti here. A little bit less than twenty dollars, and this is one of the fanciest restaurants here in Accra. So, just to point out, the prices are really fair. So you can turn up out here without breaking your back. It's fair because it's going to spend dollars. That's what I mean. That's, but it's also fair because I have someone here who doesn't eat. He's drinking orange juice. I'm trying to treat him to a nice dinner, only for him to or lunch for him to tell me he's not eating. No worries. No worries. <laughs> At the end of the day. The most important thing is like, know the target audience. You see, you should do a YouTube video as if like, you just, um, you're doing a video for a new audience. I don't know how to call it. Like me, in every video that I do, I don't care about the people that I have now. But I think about the new people that will subscribe to the channel. Yeah. So you should always go with the keywords mm -hmm. to attract them. So this one, I believe, is only your friends that watch the 664. Let me check and see. I'll tell you that it's only your friends. There's nothing not so unique about what I do. So we're trying to figure out what to eat here. <laughs> I can eat just about anything on this menu. Okay. Okay. Forget what is pasta and chips. <laughs> okay, I think I'll like. I'll like yam chips. What was your name? We have. We have. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, see, no, no, no. French fries. French fries. Go for this. And what? Potato wedges. Put it yeah. So you, you can go for like uh, the barbecue. Okay. You, you guys have a uh, chicken barbecue. Let me let me look for it. How do you do that, bro? Sold out. The lamb too is good. Uh, yeah. Sold out. Man. I had some food here, man. Okay. How is that ribeye? Is that good? Yeah. No, that was. But we had a big table, so. You can decide still. I can. Yeah. 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 Y
Man, I'm a village girl. Chicken, like, <laughs> 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 right, it's like, like, this, right? I mean, <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, some chicken. Like that. Oh my <laughs> goodness. This is what happened when, when you've been in the village for so, so long. You don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next on Adventures. It's only West Africa that you can find different varieties of food. But I don't care about what people say. Even your subscribers are not important. I can I see so many bad things in every country, but I will never talk about it. You, you say you don't bring out the bad thing, but like I don't care. If you want to talk about the other side, you can create your own YouTube videos. I'll come for you. Every day people come for me, and I'm still alive. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs>